Bewusstseinslager. Can you please repeat the word? Bewusstseinslager. May I please have the definition? A state of consciousness or a feeling devoid of sensory components. Can I have all the information, please? Bewusstseinslager or Bewusstseinslager or Bewusstseinslager. It's a noun. It's from an originally German word. A Bewusstseinslager is a state of consciousness or a feeling devoid of sensory components, as in Dr. Dieter described his son's attitude toward academic matters as an apathetic Bewusstseinslager. Can you please repeat both pronunciations? There are very slight variants, so Bewusstseinslager and Bewusstseinslager. Bewusstseinslager. German, very true to its phonetic structure, but that's a long word with a lot of syllables and a lot of net letters to navigate through. Can you please repeat the word? Bewusstseinslager. Bewusstseinslager. B E W U S T S S E I N S L A G E Bewusstseinslager. Bewusstseinslager is spelled B E W U S S T S E I N S L A G E. Thank you. They're not going to let her leave the stage. She's the first in the round. If Karthik spells this next word and another one correctly, he'll be the champ. If he misses either one, she's right back in. Karthik Nemani, if you spell this next word correctly, we will declare you the 2018 Scripps National Spelling Bee champion. <laughs> Koinonia. Koinonia, may I have the definition? Intimate spiritual communion and participative sharing in a common religious commitment and spiritual community. I have the language of origin. Greek. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There's koinonia and kinonia. I may have the part of speech. Noun. Can you please repeat the word? Koinonia, kinonia. Koinonia. K-O-I-N-O-N-I-A. Koinonia. That is correct. Of the championship trophy, Adam Simpson, President and Chief Executive Officer of the EW Scripps Company.